Boozer, do you hear me? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins, make sure you head over to U7 Buy. And also, I want you to do one very special thing. At checkout, make sure to use code FIZZY for a little discount. Oh. My. God. Um. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JR Fizzy channel. Welcome back, boys, to some breaking news. FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, boys. My God, have we been hit with something massive yesterday from EA, and it was absolutely amazing. I'm very, very sorry that I couldn't stream yesterday. I should have been on that breaking news. I should have been on that straight away when it came out. Massive, massive news and massive dub from EA and for the community moving forward. I can't wait because this is back. All right, guys, if you are new, make sure to smash a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for YouTube live streams every single day. We're gonna be live streaming an RTG on YouTube every single day from 5 p.m. to 6.30 as per usual and covering the 6 p.m. content. So this is the first place that you're gonna get your 6 p.m. content every single day. Turn the bell on so you never miss an upload and also a stream, man. I will be producing making coin videos, bronze pack method videos, league SPC videos, all the grinding stuff of a pure RTG. So make sure to follow and uh, join the party. And also follow up my socials down below. You guys know what to do. Oh, my beautiful people. Team Boozer, how are you guys doing? Icon SBCs have been announced. They are back. Now, I will be putting the link to this page. What I am reading it is the pitch notes that EA tweeted out. You could just go onto EA's Twitter. Just type in EA. It will come up on their Twitter. However, I will leave the link in the description down below. So if you guys want to have your own read after this video, then you can go do that. Do all the good stuff. Now, icons are back. Firstly, to confirm, as per usual, there's going to be four icon versions, which is the baby, middle, prime, moments. You guys know the deal. That's pretty much the same how they did it this year. Now, we don't think that there's going to be a rebrand of them. So we don't think there's going to be a re like an update of them. I don't think there's going to be like a ratings uh, refresh kind of a vibe. Um, I think they're all going to be the same ratings and obviously what they've been confirmed as, even the new icons as well. That's a bit of a shame. I would like to see some rating changes, to be completely honest. Uh, Thierry Henry, 99, just saying, but yeah, you never know. Uh, but <laughs> nah, seriously, uh, there's not going to be many changes. So in terms of like that, pretty much the same. However, this, this, look at this. Let me highlight it in blue. Mwah, look at that. Secondly, we're excited to confirm that Icon SBCs are back. They're back, baby. They're back. 13 years it's been, and yet here you stand before me as though it were only yesterday. You'll once again have the opportunity to earn specific icons by completing select SBCs. We know this is something players have wanted to return, and this is how they function in Foot 21. First of all, very, very big dub from EA. Finally, they've actually listened to us and actually said, you know what? These men have been craving icon SBCs for a while. Let's give them back. This is the perfect, perfect example of what we need more of. We don't need less of this EA. We need more of it. Give more to me. Listen more to me and the community. The first Icon SBCs will be introduced from late November onwards. So, before Footmas, so I think a lot of people will be gearing up and saving their club. Something that I'm going to be doing as well, by the way. If you guys want to obviously come through for the RTG and how we run things, twitch.tv slash jrfizzy down below. You'll get all the grindy behind the scenes stuff that you won't get on YouTube live streams. So, you guys know what to do. Um, it says Icon SBCs will be available long term, but not permanently, which is very interesting because I believe in FIFA 19, they were there permanently for the rest of the game. So that's interesting. That's very, very interesting. So it's kind of one of those ones where if you see an icon, you need to kind of, I need it. I need it. Uh, specific versions of icons will only be eligible for SBC release after they've been released in packs for a period of time. Now, this is very interesting. So this basically means that if a version of an icon is not available in the game at that moment in time in packs. So, for example, we already know that, well, I'll go through it in a second. But basically, if something is not in packs, you can't get it as an SBC. If something's been out in packs, then you can get it as an SBC. That's what it basically means. After an icon SBC expires, it may be re-released at a later date. The challenge requirements and rewards may also be updated now this is kind of a disclaimer to everyone 
it's kind of EA covering their own backs and be like, okay, let's say they release a, uh, a Ronaldinho Prime, right? And it comes out and the original price is what? Two, three, let's say three million coins for the whole SBC in general. And then later down the line next year when uh, FIFA is dead, they may release a, uh, I don't know, a, another Ronaldinho Prime, right? And this, this time it might be one and a half million coins. They're basically covering their back so you guys can basically... So we can't moan at them. They're basically saying, well, <laughs> we told you so. It's there on the website. You didn't read it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're covering their own back. That's pretty much what that sentence means. And icons may be used as requirements in SBCs. I like that a lot. I like that a lot because when we do these baby icon upgrades... These middle prime icon upgrades, prime icon, whatever upgrade we do, when we have an unusable icon sitting in our club, no value whatsoever, we have somewhere to put them. As per usual, League SBC grinding this year is going to be bigger and better, and it's going to be back. Um, so, and also it says here, lastly, the hugely popular icon sorts will also be returning in Foot 21. As a reminder, this is how icon sorts work. Complete player token objectives, earn player tokens, redeem for icons and other pack rewards available in icon swaps release. There are going to be packs there that I don't like that. I, I mean, they did do that. They did it with a baby. They did first, they did a baby icon pack. You can, you know, get a chance of a baby icon. We'll have to see how that works. Based on learnings, feedback and return of icon SPC, there'll be a handful of changes made to icon swaps this year. Okay. Icon swaps one will begin during December. It's a bit weird, but okay. There will be greater mix between icon and pack rewards with an increased number of pack rewards. Now that's very skeptical because that just that genuinely depends on what pack they're offering. For example, let's say if the first icon swap they offer a baby and a middle icon pack. You know, you kind of have to see what icons are available, where they are in the power curve, are they behind the power curve? If they're behind the power curve, it might just be good to test your luck. If they're still within the power curve, the icons they're offering, you could just pick an icon instead. Um, pack rewards will be made available at lower player token values to allow more players to engage with the program. I like that. That's better. No specific uh, version of an icon, e.g. base, released through an SBC will be released again through icon swaps and vice versa. So no specific version of an icon, e.g. base, released through an SBC. Right. So basically, if we get a prime Ronaldinho in icon swaps, we cannot get a prime Ronaldinho in icon SBCs. It's as simple as that and vice versa. If we get something that's in icon SBC, we can't get them in icon swaps. Now, I like that because first, that obviously diversifies everything that we can get via playing the game and obviously icon SBCs. Now, in my personal opinion, what they're going to do is they're going to put icon SBCs that are really expensive, like really expensive icons, they'll put them as an SBC. The cheap icons, the lesser, you know, lesser wanted, the lesser desired icons, there'll be icon sort of swaps. That's just how it's going to work. We already know that. We know what EA are on. Let's just be real. The more expensive icon SBCs come out, the more people spend FIFA points, more packs, etc, etc. You guys know the deal. And that's pretty much the breaking news, man. I can't wait. Icon SBCs are back. League SBC grinding is going to be better than ever. There's going to be more. And we're going to be going massive with the Fraud to Glory, a.k.a. My Road to Glory, on this channel. Smash a like if you are excited for that. And subscribe to the channel and join team. Booza, turn the bell on so you never miss an upload. And also, follow down my socials, Twitch, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll catch you guys ready. Now, I will be doing one last FIFA 20 stream tomorrow. And it's going to be the roulette of death. I've already put it out on community, etc, etc. I'll probably leave a little pin message for all of you guys tomorrow. And you'll see that there. Come through on that. And we'll explain the rules. We'll explain how we're going to do it. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited for that. And hopefully, it's going to be our last goodbye. Our last hurrah on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Ready for that Wednesday launch of FIFA 21. Ready for that Thursday early access download. I'm going to be live streaming at 12, 1, 3. Whenever it downloads, I'm going to be live. So expect... An early morning UK stream. It's going to be that real. If you are new, do all the good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video and tomorrow's live stream. See you there. I've been your boy. And I hope you enjoyed. Team Boozer. League SBC grinding back, baby. We out. Peace.